too, which I'm super excited about. So I'm about to definitely take that down. Okay, I want to show you guys something real quick. So I picked up these two plants. I've been wanting some more plants so bad. And so this is like where all of my plants are in my home. And I don't know how they're doing, but I just picked them up. And so I have like these two right here. And then I have one right here that I actually bought um, from Alabama when I moved. And I have two little ones down there that I need to repot. But yeah, so this one, I don't know. I don't know, the ends are dying. Some of them are a little bit stronger than others. So I'm just trying to get my, my hands on the green thumb, you know, I'm just trying to get my green thumb together. Um, I do see that there's a new bud coming out right there. So that is super exciting. I don't think there's a bud coming out on this one, but it is one right here. So maybe I'm doing something right. And then I think it's one trying to come right here too. And then this one down here, I just need to trim. I just need to trim this all. I need to repot this one bad. But I do have a little bud coming down right there. Um, they're still a little moist. So y'all, I'm hungry. Okay. It's hungry. I'm hungry. So I'm gonna make me a sandwich and I'm going to make an avocado egg and cheese sandwich. <laughs> today i am so excited okay um the weather is just insane it's clean and yes my hair looks a mess you guys it really does i'm gonna go ahead and put on a beanie so i won't be scaring y'all all right oh, let me see okay yeah so i'm about to make Make me some coffee. I need to finish cleaning out my what you call it. So yeah, I'm about to make me some coffee, and I am a coffee cup collector. Okay, this isn't even all of my cups, but yeah. So I love like getting up in the morning and trying to pick the coffee cup I want to use. So yeah, I'm definitely building up a little collection here. I don't think you could ever have too many coffee cups. So, I don't know which one I want to go with today, but maybe I'll go with this one. Like, I really love this one a lot. What's 
So I am heading to my laser hair removal appointment. So first I'm going to be doing some type of skin consultation or something and then I'll be getting my laser hair removal. So I'm going to be bringing you guys in and hopefully they let me record. I'm gonna ask, can I record? So hopefully they say yes. Today too. Huh? Oh yeah, she needs to go over to the other side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you get some calcium. I know. I'm excited. Save the best for last. I know. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you doing? It's okay if I record. If you what? Record. Um, I think that should be fine. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna so ask Cal. Okay. Ryan Little. <laughs> use it to track your progress if you have concerns we want to obviously address them and then if you want product recommendations or services then we okay. can kind of go from there and make sure we get results so. okay um i have some discoloration okay because i'm lighter skinned sure. i scar up easily sure um so i have a habit at sometimes of picking at them sure yeah. i try not to yeah but this area, my jawline and like my lower face, yep. has a little bit more okay. scarring, discoloration. Obviously, that's normal. Got it. And darker women. And you are doing um, for laser. What are you, are you doing? Lower. Yeah. Okay. So uh, chin and then neck. Okay. How has yeah. that been going so far? It's going well. I can okay. see results. Oh, good. Awesome. I'm like, yes. Thank yes. God. yes. Okay, perfect. So yeah, it's going good. Awesome. Okay, and then you're going to be doing that today, but what are you yeah. using at home right now? Do you have any products that you're using to kind of lighten the discoloration? Um, Right now, I think I have, I think it's called, it's a Dr. Brandt's 
whitening cream. Okay. I think. Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't usually like I don't use it regularly. Okay. Like I should. Yeah. But I have like aloe vera gel, this mm-hmm. like natural. Yeah. Um, I used to have retin A. Sure. When I went to a dermatologist back where I my yep. old place I lived and I loved it sure. but I haven't gotten it yet yeah, okay. again, so sure um so with the retin-a were you using that like every night or kind of just a few times a week um in the beginning it was like every day yeah yeah so sure okay it was I loved it and your skin just looked even and you didn't have yeah, yeah. I loved it okay um and I wear makeup too so it's like I have like these little bumps Yep, good for texture and stuff You know, like it's that. perfect for texture. So awesome. I'm all about texture. Cool. Okay, so you're right on with Retin-A because mm-hmm. that is one of the best things you can do for your skin. Yes. So um, Retin-A, or there's also Retinols we yeah. can use. So Retinols is the same thing. It's yeah. just basically a less of a punch exactly. to the skin. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So have you ever thought about trying Retinols before? I have. I know the Drunken Elephant has a new mm-hmm. product they just came out with. Sure. I do like the strength of Retin-A. Yeah. Because right. it's like I can see my I get results it. I get and it. in the lab. The dermatologist I went to, he was very aggressive, so sure. he wouldn't let me wash my face with anything moisturizing. So it literally peeled, dried off, and it mm-hmm. was just yeah, I liked it. But you know, retinol, you know, sure, yeah. yeah I mean, because there's some retinols like the Skin Medical we have here. That one is really good. You're gonna you're gonna see results. Um, a lot of times. You know, bigger percentage it doesn't always equal better because sometimes True. people's skin can't handle it. Exactly. But if your skin can, we uh-huh. can certainly start with a higher dose. But yeah, yeah we have retinols here that okay. um, the Schematica one I believe is I think seventy and it lasts okay. for about three to four months. So wow. might be something to think about. Um, okay. I don't know if Aubrey mentioned to you the skin lightening pads we have. Okay. No. Okay, they're amazing. Like if okay. you're wanting to lighten and brighten, yeah, uh, they're definitely something you need to consider. Okay. Um, they are four percent hydroquinone pads so four percent hydroquinone is a prescription level of skin lightening Mm -hmm. basically works to suppress melanin in the skin so Mm -hmm. it's going to really go after any brown scars you have Mm -hmm. and work more so not to just completely lighten the tone all over but more just even even it out out. yeah Yeah. okay so that's something that you should definitely consider i can show you a couple patients that have done that okay yeah take a peek that works perfect so that is just to get any build up off the face Alright. So. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I get that. Okay, just be careful when you sit on this chair here. It's yeah. kind of wild, so just hang tight. I'll put it back with it. Okay. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to do two photos. So chin in the little divot area there. Okay. okay. Alright, I'll be close your eyes. Bright flashes, keep your eyes closed. Perfect. You can relax back and we'll do one more here. Alright. Okay, Great. Great flashes. Perfect. Alright, you go have a seat. So this is just going to analyze for a second or two, but um, really we'll look at a couple things. Just I want to check on the texture and the bacteria on the skin. Okay. Um, it just a lot of times if you use a lot of like coconut oil and things like that, sometimes the skin can't quite absorb, absorb it. Absorb it, yeah. Yeah, so then you end up running the risk of getting a lot of congestion. You'll see uh-huh. like bumpiness. So mm-hmm. um, there's definitely options to get that level of hydration that you feel from coconut oil into okay. the skin without you know, getting that heavy, thick, like, okay. feeling. So, we'll talk about a few things there. Okay, so the first thing that this machine is going to analyze is going to be spots. So, it's going to be reds and browns in the skin. So, okay. any imperfections in the tone there. Mm-hmm. Um, next one is wrinkles. You don't have any of those, so that's fabulous. Um, this one is looking at texture. So, yeah, this one you can see the yellow is just a bunch of dead skin buildup. Yes. The blue is showing some um, dehydration in the skin. Okay. So, even though you're using coconut oil, it's not able to penetrate into the skin to make it feel hydrated. Exactly. You get what I'm saying there? Yep. Okay, this one is showing bacteria on the skin. Oh! Yeah. Ew, that's so nasty! <laughs> yeah. So, this is, you can see here all of the pores. So this is just showing you all of the congested pores in the T-zone there. 
Um, and so basically, we want this number, this feature count, to be in the two to four hundreds. We're in the twenty four hundred. So wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. You want it to be in the what? So we want it to be two hundred to three hundred. And mine is in the what? Yours is two thousand four hundred. Oh my god! Tell me what yeah. this is again. <laughs> what is this? This is bacteria. Mm -hmm. Jesus. So this just tells me whatever you're using to clean your skin is not quite doing it. So I'm using um um oh shit. Um, oh God, what is it? Is it Jamaican black soap? Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. So that's not cleaning it. It's more so probably drying yeah, it. Yeah, it's not doing you any favors, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't like that number. That is disgusting, no. <laughs> girl. Yeah, you're good, you're good. We can get that number back to normal. Hopefully, but... Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> And then this one here, so this is just showing all of the um, pore sizes. So obviously if you have buildup on in congestion, bacteria, it's going to stretch your pores. So yeah. obviously that number kind of correlates with everything else we're looking at. And then the last one that we look at is um, brown. So this is in, this is showing you any sort of like pigment in the skin. Uh -huh. So you can see any sunspots, discoloration, how you mentioned you're a little darker around this area. Yeah. So that is um, where we can look at that. So this is going to be something that you can't just buy over the counter this one is something that you would have to do a consent for so let me show you just a couple of my patients quick okay so this is a good example so this is after four weeks of using those brightening pads so they're really good at lightening the tone of the skin so you can see like look at these sunspots oh yeah that's four, four weeks mm -hmm. and then this is after six weeks so this look at that so that's why I like to recommend them for my laser patients because if you do laser, you obviously need to have contrast in the skin, right? And the hair. Yeah. So a lot of my laser hair patients get on these products to help lighten uh -huh. the tone so that the laser works out much better. Exactly. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Totally. Cool. Wow. So, mm -hmm. Okay, girl. So that's what I would do. I'm just gonna start you simple. I would much rather have you just try a different cleanser, something you can use morning and night. And yes. this one's awesome because it has an exfoliating component, but it's not gonna dry your skin out. Okay. Also, it takes makeup off, which is great. Oh, okay. So basically, cleanse with it morning and night. Wow, isn't that crazy? You're like, you just feel so back betrayed by your products. I feel but doesn't that make sense though? Like if you feel like you had a lot of bacteria and build up on the, like, like if you like feel like just skin. Yeah, it's like, like if eh. it just wants to come off. And if you're used to getting exfoliating treatments and yeah. you haven't done it, then yeah. Holy crap. So my skin just, oh, I'm so sorry, skin. <laughs> and I'm gonna talk to Aubrey. So yeah, definitely try those pads for sure. Okay. Try the cleanser. That's just something you can, again, morning and night, super, okay. it's gonna start to exfoliate. Um, whatever you have with glycolic acid, you said it was in a glycolic acid, mm, right? Serum. Yeah, that you can still use. That's okay. good. Just in place of that lightning cream. Yeah, perfect. So throw the lightning cream away? I, no, no. I don't I'm like telling people to throw it away. Like, set it aside. But like, just, just like, I can use all the parts of my body. Totally! Perfect! <laughs> okay, and then nighttime cleanse. You can use the pad both morning and night, but just make sure that if you are using it for brightening and you're using it uh, morning and night, it's not too drying. So start once a day with it. Okay. Pad and then moisturizer or whatever. So how do. many how many are in the, the is it like a box? No, this? it's just a little oh yeah. Oh yeah. The, it's a little container. There's sixty of them. So oh, you can okay. literally start once a day, you can start twice a day, like it's totally up to you. And should I go all over my face all or over. just the areas I okay. All over. It'll just but you can always go back and like use it extra yeah. there. Mm -hmm. So Aubrey, um the girls doing your yeah. treatment, she can kind of run through the consent if you want to do them. Okay. Just so you can have them. And then we'll make sure that she gets you back in with me so you yeah. can see how it's looking. But you have to be on a medical grade sunscreen with these. That's kind of a non-negotiable okay. just because it lightens your skin. Exactly. So I'll have her show you a couple that kind of double as like a light moisturizer. You okay. can just put them on in the morning. Yeah. Aubrey's ready for you and then I'll tell you what we need. Yeah. She's ready to paint me. Yeah, She's right. excited about it. Yeah. Can I leave this right here or you want me to bring it with me? You can bring, uh, well, oh, that you can just leave her. Okay. Yeah, totally. Okay. I told her you were ready to paint me. <laughs> yeah. You guys should just stand out here. I'm sure everybody runs and hides when she's doing it. 
can I talk oh, on her? Oh, she scream? Oh, oh she I'm screams. dramatic. She screams, she cusses. I do. She's so big. She's I do. all loud and... Yep. I love it. In here. I love it. You know what I'm talking about? The pump guy? The okay. foaming one? I can just set it over here yeah. for you. Okay. And then just. Um, I like the, that answer better. She's lying. Yeah. And then the SPF I'm going to have her doing is the Alta SPF, the clear. It's just like a light moisture. So, so we'll just have to do consent. We'll get her in for a silk peel ASAP because she needs a little exfoliation. And then when you get her back in for her revisi or her uh, next laser, I'll see her for a revisi just to check out her products and see how that's working. Got it? Well, that was fun. I know. I'm sure Thank you, you so much. <laughs> that was enlightening a bit. Yeah.